Okay, to build our Army Men hangar, we're going to need a few simple things. One, some VHS tapes. These are easy to get. In fact, if you ask the right person, they'll just give them to you. Um, some people will be like, well, they're a dollar, two dollars each, or ten dollars each at my thrift store. You're going to the wrong thrift store, okay? Just look around. These should cost you anywhere from ten cents to twenty-five cents each. I got these five of them for a buck. And that was in a bag sale at the thrift store. You're going to need a box knife, a good sturdy one like this, with a good blade. You're going to need some no-name spray paint. Yeah. Now, spray paint. How generic is that? This was $2.33 from Ace Hardware. So, you know, all-purpose gray primer. It's actually just primer. Primer will totally do the job here. You're also going to need a screwdriver. I prefer my cool knife from survivalhacks.com. Keeps the screw screwdriver bits in the side. Yeah. Also, just a little bit of packing tape or something like that. So, break this down. As you can see, I've built just a, a type of bunker, hanger, etc. here. And this will work just like blocks. As we build this, we'll either be able to super glue this thing I didn't get to mention, super glue. Uh, Loctite super glue is the best. I prefer it. With the nozzle. You either super glue these things together or just use them loose and swap them around. So, a couple different ways to do that. You know, that, this is, it can be modular if they're loose or, you know, whatever. We're going to spray paint both sides. But, one of the things we're going to do, <coughs> as this is a, a test project, is try out different things. So I put packing tape here so that these windows won't get painted over. You'll be able to see the army men in there. More interestingly, though, we're going to have this. This is going to look pretty cool. There will be these holes here, but, eh, you know, just trying things out. Going to see what we can do. So next, we forgot to clarify, one of these VHS tapes I opened up with my screwdriver, thus the, you know, the screwdriver. These guys have a little sticky tack on them. And they can fit right in this little spot here and look out the little hole, porthole if you will, of the bunker. Or they could be standing here and sort of be seen by the window. Possibly you could put a shooting guy sideways or something. I might even be able to aim them out. Main important thing, don't lose this. A little uh, spring helps make this work. This can go back together and be secured. And your toy soldiers can be, you know, put in there. Might lose one at some point, but... It is doable. So it's time to spray paint. It's kind of 6 o'clock at night in the evening. It's getting cool because it's only spring. So I'm only going to be able to do one coat tonight. That's all right, though. Generally, this takes about two coats. We're also going to do both sides later on. Or both sides. Make sure you get the sides as well. You don't want to go too heavy, but this is primer. It takes pretty well here. There's a chance we'll have to do a third coat if we do. All right. That's all right. So here's uh, one of my painted VHS tapes. This in the background, you see an entire background set built out of VHS tapes, and this is just a hobby knife etched in X's, which we're about to do. You see some random hair floating on one of these because the cat thought that it was a great place to just hang out. You're going to need a ruler. I said that before. And uh, a knife. And I don't have a cool assistant to hold my camera for me, but we want to, you know, try and line up with the corner over here. Over here, you can do a lot of different designs like these floors. A ruler with like a rubber underneath. Um, I have one like that. So it doesn't slide. Actually works better than your standard ruler. So now we've got an X there. You can also do that here and here. Like you have on this background here. I end up having to paint the top of these three times. Just because uh, with the letters. If you tip it right you can still see you know the FBI warning and the name of the movie. Can't really see the name of the movie anymore. Also, uh, if you get zip ties, you can 
cut your zip ties and spray paint them and glue them on over these letters and spray paint over those zip ties and that'll look pretty cool. A little bit of hair on these from the cat. So we have our bunker walls and you could actually just build a wall for your army men. See? Yeah. We've got our bunker wall. Got the inside of it. It's painted gray as well. You can make this go whichever way you want, truth be told. There's one. One bunker that you could build. You could also build a front piece. So, uh... And we could etch in a door. We're going to give that a shot here in a moment. But before we get to that, we're going to get to walls that we, special windows we made. I'm using that tape, ended up covering these up. And, you know, truth be told, taking a hobby knife and etching the shape of this would have been the best move here. But this is just a trial for me, you know, a demo, so it wasn't terribly important to me. The opposite side of these. Remember that your VHS tape can come apart. We want to watch out so we don't lose the spring that keeps the top there. We can then take this apart and actually kind of see inside our bunker a little bit. Or if we wanted, we can have these kind of windows, if you will. And we can have guys looking at it. I think that's kind of neat. Makes for a nice little bunker building something like that and you know you could also build this double decker so yeah you can build whatever kind of bunker you want out of these vhs tapes i think it's just swell that's why i use it for a lot of different these things together however you want them to be or not try and make a door so let's try and make a door here i made just a, a little you know Two lines for a door. I think it's rather believable. If you wanted to, you could do the whole paint and tape trick, you know, and just have the door be black there. So there's a lot of different ways you could do this. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's kind of a cool way to build a bunker for your army man. I uh, Want to give this a shot? I want to show it without this background, since. Yeah. All right, so here we have, you know, just another look at a VHS tape bunker. Here's our door, at the front. There's our little windows. Here's, you know, non-windows if you decide to do it that way. You know, and like I said, you can draw lines in there, and then you can just build these like blocks, or you can glue them together. Anyway, it's a great way to build stuff. Walls backgrounds all kinds of stuff just be a lot of fun so i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial i'll see you guys next time